Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we're going to be reviewing a photo frame in 2018. And I haven't checked out photo frames since they first became popular. And this is from HP, more specifically Idea Electronics, which makes HP products such as photo frames and other things along the HP brand. And really for this one, I really wanted to see how it was to have a photo frame in 2018. Now, in some ways they've gotten better and in some ways they still have certain things that I wish could be better as much as like a high-end tablet. Now, overall, first and foremost, I would say that as a photo frame, I'm really glad that you can wirelessly connect to it even if you're not home. So that's a really great feeling, right? You're out, you're on vacation, and you wanna send the grandparents or parents all the photos of you on vacation. Well, you can literally just share it on there and it will appear on the photo frame. That's a really nice touch that you have with this photo frame that I do like. The other thing I like is, you know, you have your SD connection, you have a USB, so I like both uh, abilities to do that. And I do like the fact that it has internal storage as well. Always a good factor. Not to mention, this actually has speakers. So not only can it play photos, but you can have some nice background music. Now, the speakers aren't the best. They are really made for background music, so keep that in mind. They can't get loud, but they sound muffled. So really good for background music, depending on the song you pick, and really nice for that. You also have the ability to have a calendar on there, which is just, you know, if you just want this as an alarm clock, you have that ability to just have your schedule and your alarm clock right then and there. Now, the other thing I will say is that there are some negatives. One, first and foremost, is how the SD card will stick out of the photo frame. I just don't like it. I, I wish it went deeper inside of the photo frame. It's just, it's it's too out. It's, it's just the tip of it basically going in. So I, I really wish it would be uh, just a little bit better in terms of design in that sense. The other thing I will say that I didn't care as much for is the fact that with this one, if you have it in a living room that has a lot of sunlight, you're not gonna be able to see it that well. This really is, uh, you wanna tilt it away from the sunlight because it is a very reflective. So those are the two big things. It is a 720p resolution, which is perfect for $150 price range in my opinion. But overall, would I recommend getting a photo frame in 2018? Yeah, I really do still see a great reason to get it. Now, they vary depending on your colors. You know, if you really want it to look more like electronics or more like a uh, beauty piece inside your living room or bedroom or wherever you're gonna put it. Uh, so keep that in mind that it depends on what you want it for and where you want it. Overall, I would recommend this just because it's a really nice touch to share your photos. Like for me, I put all of my wedding, honeymoon, all those kind of photos in there. And I just love the ability to have that and have it rotate through all of them. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever thought about getting a photo frame for yourself, for a friend, for a family, loved one, anyone? Let me know in the comment section down below. I still think that they really are good for specific purchases. I know most people tend to get it during the Mother's Day and graduation time frame, but overall, I think it's a good kind of just uh, bringing together kind of gift, if that makes any sense. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section again. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.